Bushcraft 101, page 204. Such from recent feedings. Again, livers and hearts make great food, and all birds are edible. However, with scavenger birds such as buzzards, you should boil <coughs> the meat well to ensure that any parasites are killed prior to consumption. Use your best judgment when examining the meat and organs for overall health. Fish. Process fish by slitting them from the vent or ass to the base of the gills, <coughs> removing all guts and tearing out the gills. You can scale the fish or just cook it with the scales or skin on and eat the meat from the inside out like a baked potato. If you choose to skin a catfish before eating, you will want a pair of pliers for scaling and skinning as it can be tough. All freshwater fish in North America are edible. How to clean a fish. A. Insert a knife on the bottom part of the belly and slit it all the way up to the chin. B. Separate the head from the abdomen throat area. Stick it in between the gills and chop it. C. Hold the jaw and pull in one direction and then grab the part of the throat at the top and rip out the gills and entrails. D, use something to scrape out all the remaining guts from the inside. And E, remove the dorsal fin and head. Page 205. Reptiles and Amphibians Reptiles such as snakes can be skinned and the guts removed, then cooked like any other food. Remove the head of any poisonous snake prior to processing. Frogs can also be skinned or just cooked and consumed after gutting. Turtles are a bit tricky. Cut the head off, hang the body, upside down to bleed out. Remove the lower shell by cutting the thin layer of membrane between the shell and the meat and clean out the innards. You can use the shell as a pot to, in which to cook the meat. Turtle meat makes very good bait for fishing. Preserving meat. Since ancient times, humans have preserved meat for later use. There are many ways of doing this. Here are a few simple ways you can preserve with little to no excess gear or additional resources. Drying. Drying removes moisture from the meat and makes it available for consumption later on a trip or on the trail. The key is to cut the meat as thin as possible so that the process happens quickly. You can dry meat in several different ways depending on natural resources available to you. Suspend the meat over a fire with low heat for a period of time until the meat cracks when bent, like jerky. Sun dry the meat on a flat rock or rack. If a full hot sun is available, rotate the meat from side to side until dry. The meat can also be smoked while drying to add flavor and additional bacteria killing agents. <clears throat> Note that this is not the same process as smoking meats discussed in the next section. End of page.